Hi everybody, this is Bentley the Compost Guy Christy here again. And in this video I'm going to talk to you about my vermiponics system that I set up a little while ago. Probably back at the beginning of February I believe. Now what exactly is vermiponics? Well this is essentially a combination of hydroponics and vermicomposting as you might imagine. Now the inspiration for this came from someone named Jim Joyner who is a member of an aquaponics email list that I happen to belong to. And for those of you who are unfamiliar with the term aquaponics, that's basically a combination of aquaculture and, and hydroponics again. Now, the, I've always dreamed of, of setting up my own aquaponics system. I've been fascinated with aquaponics for basically the same amount of time as I have with, with vermicomposting. But I just, the, the situation has never arisen that, that I've been in a, a good position to do so. So basically I, I've purchased some of this equipment over the years and that helped me to, to set up this system. But uh, up until now I've never really, I've been more of an armchair sort of aquaponics guy. And I, I noticed probably a couple months ago that Jim posted a message on this, this email list talking about how he was setting up this system with a big focus on composting worms rather than using fish and I actually didn't well I was well, I certainly caught my attention but I didn't give it too much thought at the time I for whatever reason I think I was assuming he was still incorporating fish somehow but you know in, in early in the new year I, I I finally realized that he was talking about a worm only system so I certainly took notice of that and actually got in touch with him and if for those of you who are interested I did write an article about Jim's setup which is makes this look like a joke <laughs> to be totally honest Jim is a very very talented uh, plant grower and just generally he's been in, involved in the aquaponics stuff for quite some time so certainly a lot more experience than I am and Jim was kind enough to share a lot of information with me about how he how he did his setup and he's apparently has a, a really exciting project for the new year so I'm, I'm looking forward to getting a, an update from Jim at some point and we'll certainly write about it on the Red Room Composting website. But anyway as far as my system goes I just wanted to set up something fairly basic but still functional to test this whole vermiponics idea out. So what I did was basically I had, I had some of these trays that were somebody had thrown out and I was going to use them for various vermicomposting uh, jobs, but ended up thinking, well, that, you know, that would make a, a great grow bed. And I also had these, I already had these uh, worm tubs. Well, there, I guess there are actually concrete mixing tubs or I don't know what they're for, but you can get them at the hardware store. And I absolutely love them for sorting worms and, and various other, other things. But I thought, well, that, that, that could make a, a great reservoir. Now, originally, I should mention that I had it set up so that I was using this pipe and it was connected to this small water pump down there. And this, this, is, a, this is, just in case you're curious, it's a, a variable output uh, water pump and I think the range is 45 gallons per hour up to about 125 gallons per hour. Actually, there's a little dial on it and you can adjust the uh, outflow. So at the moment it's actually cranked up quite a bit. Now I think it's probably a little bit clogged so I'll probably need to clean it out a little bit. I think it should be uh, spouting out a little bit more than that. But anyhow, what, what I originally did was I was circulating the water through this tube up into the grow bed essentially. Now the problem with that approach was that this this reservoir of water wasn't getting enough oxygen and it, it started to get really foul. You could smell it as soon as you uh, came into the room and I knew that I had to do something if I was going to have any hope of continuing with the project. And the other thing is that some of the plants were starting to die. Now I know they don't look you know all that amazing anyway. Uh, all I have are these uh, fluorescent grow, grow lights here so I don't think I, I have enough enough uh, lighting power but anyway the, this sort of wastewater was was starting to have a negative impact on on the growth of the plants and in case you're curious as far as the plants go 
the main plant you see there is a lettuce, a Grand Rapids lettuce to be exact, and it's done quite well, you know, considering the conditions. And radishes, I have a, a French breakfast radish that I thought might be fun to try out. I was thinking this is a fairly cool basement, so I wanted wanted some plants that would would tolerate cooler weather. I, I would love to grow to grow some. Uh, basil in, in the system but I'm probably gonna have to wait till I do an outdoor system in uh, warmer weather and I tried some spinach it didn't actually do very well v barely came up at all so I ended up and this is probably it seemed like a strange choice but I ended up trying peppermint just because I happened to have the seeds and I thought I was thinking more in terms of water filtration rather than coming up with a, an, an interesting crop just because I was running into so much trouble with, with trying to get this water clean. But anyway, since I've switched to this mode with just having the water pump up and, and oxygenate this, this reservoir, everything has bounced back really, really nicely. And I, I increased the, the level of the water so that it, there's holes in the bottom of this bed. And so there's, there should be some good wicking action of, of moisture up into the bed. From time to time, I will take this little cup and fill it up and sort of dump in dump in this uh, nutrient rich water just to provide them with a bit more nutrition that way and that's sort of basically it. One thing I didn't mention there's a, a garlic plant at the back as well that was just a, a bulb of garlic that happened to be starting to germinate in one of my worm composting systems so I thought that might be fun to put in there as far as the, the bed goes um, I sort of did a combination of a traditional worm composting system and some sort of, sort of hydroponic grow bed. I have this inner uh, grow gravel stuff. I think it's some sort of volcanic rock. And believe it or not, I used quite a bit of dryer lint. This is stuff that I, I like to use in my worm composting systems. It takes quite a while to, to break down, so it's like a bedding. It's very absorbent. I don't use those sort of chemical rich dryer sheets. We have these supposedly eco-friendly cloth ones. I don't think they work at all, but that's beside the point. Um, the, the main idea here is that there probably isn't too much in the way of nasty chemicals in that. And I did rinse it out quite well before using it. I also use egg carton cardboard, which is my favorite type of, of worm composting cardboard. So those three things essentially are what make up the material uh, in, the, in the system. And as far as the worms go, all I did was add a bunch of material that contained worms. There's no specific amount, no specific quantity of worms. And it probably wasn't really, really that much, that many worms at all. And I'm really, really interested to see um, how many worms <clears throat> I do end up with when I do finally dismantle this system. Now on to food. You could probably get away with using a regular worm composting approach and just add food waste to your system. I've opted for something a bit more uniform and a bit more nutritious. This is actually poultry feed and it's 20% crude protein so lots of good nitrogen potential there and you know for these leafy type of plants it should hopefully work quite well. And as far as actually feeding, you're probably wondering, well, how on earth do you feed these worms while the plants are in there? You can certainly sprinkle it around in the bed if you want. I chose to create a little bit of a central food holding unit here, and I haven't really been checking on it. The idea is that there's a little bag, a burlap bag inside, and that contains, oh wow, that contains a lot of worms now. But it contained uh, bedding material plus some a lot of this food stuff. And I figured that the worms would go in, they'd feed on it, they'd, they'd release their castings, and that would be sort of a nutrition source for the plants. All right, so that's a bit of a, a quick and dirty tour of this system. I'm sort of running out of time here, so I'm going to leave it at that for now. I uh, hope you found this interesting. I, I certainly plan to create some more videos about vermaponics in general. And uh, yeah, check out the Weber Composting website if you would like to learn more. Thanks for tuning in.